What is up guys, it's me, MW3Boy, bringing you the first ever episode of the Real Card Experience. Now, I'm bringing you TDM on Resistance. 21 and 4 was my score. Now, I know it is not the best, but of course it's the Real Card Experience. Anyway, I'm also having a little technical difficulties with this video, it keeps like going in slow-mo and fast pace. I don't know. I can't explain it. Like, it's Pinnacle Studio. It's a gay program at sometimes, and I like it, but yeah, it's a gay program sometimes. Anyway, guys, I am bringing you TDM, like I said, and I just want to talk about things you can do to improve your game in TDM. Flanking is one, and then not going where your teammates are, because if someone gets killed on the enemy team, they're gonna go, oh yeah, there they all are. I'm gonna go there. And so they're gonna try and flank. So what you want to do is go away from your teammates and check another place where the enemy might be and get them before they take out your guys. And then don't do what I'm doing in this part of the video. That was a fail right there, my friends. Alright? That was a fail. Anyway. Yeah, you want to really get on those guys before they get on you. And I'm not trying to make it sound gay or anything, but that's pretty much what it is. You get, like, raped by these guys. Yep, don't drop the soap. <laughs> uh, but anyway, guys. Yeah. So, flanking is one thing. <laughs> Flank your opponents. And then you really want to secure an area, which I did not do that good. And check your six. That guy did not see me, but I still went after him without recognizing his friend was right there. And he was on the UAP, so... <laughs> I just realized that when I was, like, recording the video. It was like, oh, man. That, I did not notice. So I was actually a little <laughs> nervous about that, what people would say, like, Whoa, you didn't see that guy? Like, what happened? Well, I'll tell you what happened. I did not use the UAV, because I've always found the UAV useless, but in some cases now, it's good. Good like anything else that would be good in Call of Duty. Kill streaks. I mean, not Black Ops. Like I said in one video, the kill streaks aren't the best. I mean, MW3's kill streaks are better, but, eh, uh, well, yeah, I like kill streaks, but not that much. I mean, if you come from the finest hour kind of uh, age, then you'll understand. And in campers is an air prone. You gotta make sure when going into a room, keep your sights down just in case there's a camper around the corner, which there was, and I didn't follow that rule. But it's the real card experience, and I'm showing you bad gameplay with good gameplay. I made mistakes, and then I made awesome moves in this. Flanking right here, see? That guy was, like, going around there to get me, but he didn't see me, and then I flanked him. And then, here's a drop shot coming up. That's what you guys want to do, drop shots. And then also, when you're up close with enemies, then you want to, like, knife them like that, see? Knifed him. Because I was out of ammo, and I couldn't switch to my gun without dying. <laughs> And then here's my Predator missile. But yeah, doing all these things really helps uh, build up your kill streak. So yeah, good kill from a distance. And depending on the map, you want to use your weapons to your advantage. So maybe one for close range, like Dome is close range. Like use uh, something like the Model 1887, I believe it's called. And then for this, you might want to use the Scar H or this is the Scar L, I forget. But anyway, guys. Yeah, you want to use different weapons for different environments. It's sort of like Battlefield. Except, it's way better, and it's got a better storyline, to be honest. <laughs> and then I failed with my Reaper, which I don't mind. I hate Reapers some of the time. Not some of the time, sometimes. Blech. Sorry, having trouble speaking today, like always in my videos. But yeah, you guys really, really want to watch out for those nubs like noobs i like to call them nubs because there's other people i know who call them nubs but anyway you really want to watch out for those noobs because they might get you in the back like shoot you in the back like that's unfair in war to be honest and then yeah and now i have my ac 130 here so i'm a little better with this from mw2 and all that but yeah i've not i haven't been playing a um Modern Warfare for that long, maybe about three years or something, maybe two years, I don't know. 
But yeah, I kind of am so getting used to the fact that Call of Duty went modern on us. Like, I come from the finest uh, our age. I mean, that was one of my favorite Call of Duties. And it's like, yes, I love this. Like, the campaign was good, and then it had a good storyline. Like, differentiating. Yeah, I can't say the word, but they had different campaigns, like, for different factions of the world during World War II, which I'm absolutely in love with. Well, not, not in love with World War II. I mean, it was a terrible thing, but it, the history behind it was so good. But yeah, Modern Warfare is one of my favorite games now, though. But anyway, guys, yeah, the gameplay should be wrapping up here soon. I think I get one more kill after this, which is an absolute fail, I believe. Because the guy was in front of me and I didn't see him. And, well, he failed too. Let's watch. Yeah, see? Look, he fails. And then I go in here. Boom. Comes around the corner, hip fire. That's an thing you want to do sometimes, fire from the hip. I recommend having steady aim on. I mean, I could bring you guys some gameplay where I don't have steady aim on, and yeah. In most of my gameplay clips, I have a uh, steady aim. And then, yeah, I get killed here. Just watch. Go up the stairs. Yep, here we go. Go up the stairs, jump from here. Tried firing from the hip, I missed. And then he killed me, and then the game ends. So thanks guys for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and like the video, and I hope you enjoyed it, and if you didn't, then you don't know anything about the real card experience.